Okay, what's up everyone? It's Grim here, and this isn't a moaning video. Oh no, this is a observation video, for want of a better term. Um, today I finally got a chance to watch a load of the live streams that are going up. Now, if you don't know, just put in a Google ghost live streams. There's loads of them out there. Um, I've watched a couple today, just to try and get a feel for not the staged you know, event where only certain classes are available and that sort of thing. Now, granted the servers don't go live until tomorrow, so all the footage I've watched is obviously local and it is against bots. And I don't know quite know why, but uh, whenever people are live streaming like this, they seem to want to put the bots on recruit and show that they have legendary skills but it still gives you an idea of the guns how they work you know the balance of them uh, how many hits to kill what's gonna be nasty what's gonna be good kill streaks all that sort of shit so I've seen the chem strike um, I've seen uh, a load of the snipers being used a load of the SMGs uh, I haven't seen the chainsaw be used yet unfortunately um, but I suppose there's got to be some surprises. I've seen the IED. That looks nasty. Um, so let's get into some some points. First off, I want to say, obviously, everything I've seen is on current gen. Um, both Xbox and PlayStation. And it actually looks really, really nice on both. Um, I was surprised at how nice it did look. Considering it was all being streamed and some of the stream quality wasn't 100%. It did actually look really, really good. I mean, yeah, it's still Call of Duty. You're not going to suddenly go, oh my god. It's like I'm playing Battlefield 4 on PC, on Ultra, and just to top it off, somebody's covered it in barbecue sauce and laid it all out on a hot young woman's stomach. No, it is not that good. Um, It's still Call of Duty, but it's still, it's still nice. It's still a sexy Call of Duty. It still looks good. So... And most of that is the maps. The maps are extremely varied and really colourful. Um, I've seen pretty much all of them. And the one that they showcase, which is Strike, and also the Snow one, are probably the ugliest two. Stonehaven looks fucking amazing. That's the one with the castle. That looks fucking awesome. Uh, there's one in the factory. I can't remember all of them. There's the, the prison one. Prison Break, I think it's called. That's really nice, um, and it looks like it will play really well. They seem the maps seem really, really large uh, compared to what we're used to. But that may just be because uh, on some of the maps, the guys I was watching play like free for all. And there was only seven of them, so in total there was only eight. So it was a lot of searching around for the bots to kill. So that may have just been, you know, when you've got it on six v six or on next gen console, when you can have it on. A ground war, so there's a total of 18, it may feel a lot more hectic. Bullet wise, with the guns, uh, fucking the f quickest I've ever seen um, guns kill in Call of Duty. Uh, just absolutely fucking ridiculous. The marksman rifles were killing in two hits every time from any range. They just were. The sniper rifles have got a thing called oh shit, and I'm not gonna. It's like galvanized barrel or tungsten barrel, something like that, which basically means that they get more damage, but at the sake of having more kick. So you get more one-hit kills, but you can't get the follow-up shots so well. So I don't know what the trade-off is. You might have, apparently, and I'm not a quick scoper, but one of the guys I was watching was a quick scoper. He said that. Quickscoping is still there, still doable, but it's just harder. So I have no issue with that, that's all I've ever wanted. Um, because if somebody's good at it, I don't, I don't want it to be nerfed, I don't want it to be gimped. So if a guy's really good at quickscoping, I don't want them to keep nerfing and layering the difficulty on him. I want him to shine, but I want the gap between those that are good and those that are bad to be far more vast like they were back in the old Call of Duties, good snipers they shot, you'd turn around and go, fair play, he's a really good shot sniper, and the bad ones just get fucking mowed over. So, it's doable, but you do need to set it up. The guy was saying that variable scope, the carbon tungsten barrel thing, you need, 
also quick draw you need. So you're looking at three points gone from your allotted 12. You're going to want to take a secondary because from what I've seen, it's fucking hard to hit so many point blank range with a sniper rifle. Um, may just have been the ones that we're using. But um, yeah, oh, SMGs, Jesus. SMGs have redonkulous range. You can put rapid fire on them and grip and they don't move. Like, literally, it's, they make the ACR look like the um, RPD from Black Ops. It's just, it's ridiculous. Uh, the guy had the MTAR X. Put rapid fire on it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it burns through ammo at a ridiculous rate of fire. But, um, but yeah, absolutely zilch recall. Um, God, what else? God, this video is burning down already. Overall impressions, because I just noticed that we are running out of time. Overall impressions, I'm excited for it now. I will openly admit I am excited from what I've seen. I think there's going to be some douchebaggery. The IED satchel, basically it's like a C4 charge. You throw it on something and it arms. And then anybody walks past it, it blows up. That's going to be fucking annoying. Um, not sure about whether the dead eye perk is even going to be needed because the damage is so ridiculous. But overall... Really, really looking forward to it. Fingers crossed servers go live tomorrow. Should be able to see some actual multiplayer gameplay tomorrow. So, we'll let you know more then. Have a good one.